What's exciting now for bladder cancer is this, this concept of the checkpoint inhibition. So both uh, on, the, on the tumor side as well as on the immune cell side. So what we see is T cells, uh, which provide uh, some immunity against uh, all kinds of cancers, being down-regulated by the tumor cells with this interaction between some of the surface molecules called PD-1 and PD-L1. PD-1 being on the T cell, PD-L1 being on the tumor cell or antigen-presenting cell, as it were. That interaction actually down-regulates the T cell, um, and therefore tumor cells can kind of escape the immune response. Uh, so the idea of these quote-unquote checkpoint inhibitors is to block that downregulation of the immune cell, whether it's nivolumab or pembrolizumab on the PD-1 side, or whether it's atezolizumab uh, or darvelumab on the uh, PD-L1 side. And so that's some of the kind of new and exciting things that are going on. And we've seen significant responses, you know, that we weren't seeing, for, particularly for patients that have failed cisplatin-based chemotherapy. Um, some of that's based upon the inherent uh, immunohistochemistry of the tumors themselves, meaning that we see, we've been seeing some better responses for those patients that are have uh, PD-L1 staining on their tumors. Um, but that's kind of where this space is going, which is exciting.